Hey everyone, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com and we're taking a look at the LED trailer tail light. This gives you a lot of functions in one light. It's going to give you your stop turn and tail light functions and it is going to be a submersible light. So all the circuitry in here, all the electrical components are potted. They have a uh, sort of epoxy material around them to help protect from any kind of water so it's not going to corrode or cause any shorts and it also helps to protect them from vibration as well. Anything that's on the road is going to be vibrating and it can cause things to kind of get dislodged so by having that potting material it's going to keep everything protected and in place. It does come with the hardware to mount this up. I'm going to turn the lights out in the studio so you can get a better idea of what this looks like in the dark. I have it wired up so you can see the uh, running light circuit is on right now, so that's how bright it will be whenever it's just the running light, so maybe it's uh, nighttime or it's raining outside, and then if we hit the brakes or our turn signal gets brighter there. So it gives you that function to operate those different things, and you can see that light is still visible on the side, so it does a lot of things at once. Turn the lights back on. We can disconnect our wires. It's just three wires to connect. We'll have our white wire, which is our ground. It does have a ring terminal already attached, so that's one less thing we have to worry about. The green wire is our stop and turn signal. And then the brown wire is our running light signal. There's some grooves in the back of this housing to help you route that wire around so it doesn't get crushed by mounting this flush to your trailer surface. So you can kind of squish the wires in those little prongs to help hold it down. So if you want to run the wires down, you can put them like this. And this shouldn't cause any damage to your wires. It's just going to help to hold them in place so you're not having to fight with them to get that mounted up. And you can ride it down. You can ride it up and around this way. You can ride it up and around that way or up and over and out. So you have a couple options as far as the wiring path goes. So that's something that's kind of nice to see. It does also come with the hardware to mount it up. So we'll get our flange nut, a flat washer, and a carriage bolt. That carriage bolt slides in this slot and that does have a little notch in it so it does hold the hardware in place so you're not having to fight with that while you're trying to get this lined up and in place which is one nice thing as well. So they've put a, nice, a couple of nice little features in this light that are just kind of smart little simple things that make it easy to install. If we take a look at the housing in here, like I said, this is a submersible light. So that potting material, you can kind of see there's sort of a, a clear layer in between where the diodes sit and the back of that circuit board. So you can kind of see there's a little layer to it. All the wires run into there. And it's going to be the same thing for our two round lights at the side and at the back. Those are all sealed up and our wires coming into the back of the housing are also potted. There's a couple of holes at the bottom so water can get into the housing. It's just inevitable. If you plan on using this for a marine trailer, water's going to get in there, but it shouldn't cause any issues because of that potting material. It's really nice and sealed up. There's not going to be any water getting at anything that's going to be important or damaged by water. Even if it doesn't get submerged, uh, condensation can still build up in here, you know, temperature fluctuations, the air inside can cool down and then cause con condensation on those surfaces on the, in there, on the inside there. So having those two holes is actually a good thing because then it can let that moisture escape and it lets air in here so that moisture can get out. So that's kind of the reason for that. That's the reason why there's, it's not just completely sealed in there. Otherwise, if there was no way for that moisture to get out, it would fog up the light and it'd look kind of nasty after a while. As far as size, it's about eight inches long by two and seven eighths inches deep and two and seven eighths inches tall. The mounting holes or the mounting hardware at the back is spaced apart by two inches center to center so it should match up with two holes that are center uh, two inches apart center to center 
has a total of 10 diodes. The power draw at 12 volts for our stop and turn signal is 0.15 amps. For the taillight signal, it's 0.5 amps. This does have a companion to it, the driver's side, which is pretty much the same in every respect, as, apart from the fact that it has a um, light at the bottom for your license plate that is also available here at eTrailer.com. Highly suggest picking it up so it matches with this one. That part number is PE27RV, sold separately. So get the, both of them, get the set, and then you'll be ready to go. That's pretty much all there is to it for this light. I think it's a nice addition to your trailer to have all the functions in one set of lights. So I hope this video has been helpful in deciding if this is the right one for you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.